<laughs> His first introduction to teachers gathering outside the White House sums up Matt Damon's appreciation for them. He takes photos of them. So I ask him. Do you have a message for the teachers? Hang in there, yeah. Judging by this turnout, they are. This Save the Schools rally features big names in the education community. Free public education. Diane Ravitch, Jonathan Kozel. What teachers make. The teacher turned poet, Taylor Molly. Objection overruled. And while his name speaks for itself, Matt Damon says his own fame is because of teachers. I just want them to know that there are millions and millions of regular people who, who, who deeply appreciate what they do with their lives and, 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 and know that this country would be a mess without them. So, so that's what I... Do you have a personal teacher in your mind that you think of when you say this? I have a lot of them. Here's one of them. This is my history teacher from high school, Larry. So I ask Larry Aronson myself, what's the secret? If the teachers had ownership over their curriculum. We owned our curriculum. We had a huge say in what we were doing and not without evaluation. We were assessed, but we had a great voice in what we were doing as teachers. And today they're trying to find that voice. Whose right. schools? Our But we're standing up for every child's right to a quality public education. As this Boston mom and teacher puts it, before introducing her famous son. I see you both. Damon tells me what he was thinking about when he wrote this speech. I feel more and more appreciative every day for the, for the teachers that I had. And the older I get, the more I really, it really sinks in as I get older, how lucky I was. And, and I want that for, uh, for every kid. Which is why he's here today, he says. We thank you and we will always have your back. And why he plans to be here tomorrow for tomorrow's teachers. Brittany Morehouse, 9 News Now.